Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you probably noticed that my filming space looks a little bit different and that's because I'm in the middle of a whole room transformation. So that'll be a video in the future. Anyways, in today's video, I'm doing a updated what's on my iPhone 11 Pro Max plus wildflower case collection. But yeah, I've already done two videos where I've shown you guys what's on my iPhone, but my phone looks completely different than those last two videos. So I just thought I would update you guys on what my phone looks like now Plus I keep seeing comments asking me to film this video So here you guys go If you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe Let's just go ahead and get into the video I'm gonna show you guys my little wildflower cases collection really fast. It's really small, just letting you know. I only have three. Here's the first case. It's this really pretty purpley plaid print and I think it's really, really cute. Here's what it looks like on my phone and I just think it's really pretty. Here's the next case. It is the lavender flames case, I think. And they actually have this print in a ton of other colors. And then here's what it looks like on my phone. Super cute, I love it. And and then here's the last case that I own and it's the super pretty mushroom and like flower print but I don't know I thought it was really cute so and then here is what it looks like on my phone I think it just looks so so cute and I'm obsessed with it so those are all of the cases that I own from wildflower I think I'm just gonna leave my phone bare for this video because I just think it looks so like clean and pretty without a case I have the 11 pro max in I think it's called just white or silver I don't really know but yeah I think it looks super pretty and clean up close so now we can just go ahead and get into the actual iPhone tour. Okay guys, so when you open my phone, you just see my lock screen and it's just a pretty sunset that I think I found this picture on Pinterest, but I'm not completely sure. And then when you swipe up, this is the first page that you see. And my home screen is the same as my lock screen. I just really liked the picture, so I thought I would just use it for both. But at the top of my screen, I just have this widget from Widget Smith and it just says the date and the day of the week which i think is super helpful because i always lose track of time and like what day it is and stuff so i just think this is really helpful and i just think it looks cute so but i think it's in the color lavender on widget smith i'm not completely sure also sorry if i like kind of have a low energy me and my friend woke up super early this morning to watch the sunrise which is irrelevant to this video but um if i seem tired that's why so right under that widget i have my calendar and my notes and and then I just have my camera and my clock. I just put them there because I don't really know why. I just thought that they would be easily accessed right there. So, And then right next to those, I have a smaller widget. And the picture just says, at the end of the day, love is all that matters. Thought it was like really pretty looking. So... <laughs> yeah, and then under that I have my weather app and then I have my magic home app And this app is the one that I use to control my LED lights and then I just have Safari and Gmail to the left of those apps I have another widget and it just says I am trying my best with a really cute Smiling flower. I found all of the pictures that I used for my widgets on Pinterest And I have a whole board with all of them and a bunch of other cute prints and I can link it in the description if you guys want to go check it out as you can probably tell i went for like a purpley like blue theme sort of okay and then once you swipe over i have another page obviously i don't know why i said that um but right in the top left i have a spotify widget because i'm always listening to my music and right now i just have it on my favorites playlist but yeah here are all of my playlists so if you want to go listen to my music my spotify is at carly Denae. okay and then to the right of that widget i have my instagram so here is my instagram sorry for all the self promo but you should also go follow me on there it's at carly Denae with two eyes yeah, i don't post a ton i'm trying to post Post more but here are some of my photos that I have um, but yeah okay and then to the right of that I have a TikTok and I also have a TikTok account but I don't really post a ton on there like I try to post okay and then I have Pinterest here's my Pinterest but yeah I have a bunch of boards that you guys can go check out and here is the prints board that i was talking about so i just have a bunch of cute like photos if you need some inspo but yeah i just thought these were all super cute 
and then I have Snapchat. Okay, and then below those apps, I have another widget that says you are what you love. I mainly just put it there because I thought the purple fit well with my phone aesthetic. And then I have Minecraft. I don't even know why that app is on this page. I didn't know what other app to put there, so I was just like Minecraft. And yeah. Um, and then I have Twitter. I never ever go on Twitter, but I just have it there to fill up space and then i have youtube studio and this app is super helpful if you're a creator on youtube and it just shows you like all of your analytics and your estimated revenue and stuff like that and you can keep track of like your growth and your view count and stuff so it's super super helpful and then right next to that i just have the plain youtube app and that's all for this page okay and then once you swipe over this is the last page that i have i never really use this page because whenever i'm like trying to get to an app i usually just like search it up so like for example if i wanted to go to imovie i would just like search it and then you know just tap it like that i don't know it's just so much easier in my opinion but anyways at the top i have a widget of one of my best friends and i and then next to that i just have another widget and i don't even know what it is it just says this flower is for you but i thought it was cute for some reason i don't know okay and then the first folder that i have is for editing so I have Lightroom and I usually don't use Lightroom anymore and then I have PixArt and I sometimes use this when I'm editing my thumbnails and then I have iMovie and I used to use iMovie to edit all of my YouTube videos I would just edit on my iPhone the next app is Video Star. I was obsessed with this app as a child but I also would sometimes use this while editing a YouTube video and I have CapCut um, to be honest I literally don't know what this is like at all i must have downloaded it a long time ago because i have like never used it before okay and then i have resizer and i use resizer all the time to make my thumbnails and then once you swipe over i have a bunch of other apps i'm just gonna go through them kind of quickly because i feel like you guys don't really care what the apps are anyways i have plan only and you can use this app to plan out your instagram feed and then i have facetune i don't really use this and then I have Unfold, and then I have Photo Grid, and then I have Color Tone, Preview, Magic Eraser, and then I have Fonto. I use Fonto all the time for my thumbnails. And then I have Vaunt, and this is like the video version of Fonto. It lets you add text to videos. And that's all for my edit tab. And then we have my school folder. I have Photo Math, and then I have this app that my school uses. It's like Google Classroom, but 10 times worse. Okay, and then I have student 360 and this just lets me like look at all my grades and stuff And then I have my calculator and then I have this translate app. I have flora Okay, and that's all I have for the school tab and then I have a shop tab So these are all of the apps I use for online shopping. So I have PacSun, Urban Outfitters, Sheen, Brandy Melville, Amazon, Etsy, Zaffle, Poshmark, and Depop. And then the last folder that I have is my entertainment. So I have Lifetime and I use this to watch Dance Moms. And then I have Netflix, Disney Plus, Twitch, and then I have Discord, Pandora, which I don't even use. Um, and then we have Among Us. I don't really need to explain that one. Um, and then I have Zombie Catchers. This game was something that I played all the time when I was younger so I just re-downloaded it to kind of like just like nostalgia you know I have geometry dash and I also played this a ton as a kid and then once you swipe over I have bad eggs which I played this all the time as a kid as well but yeah that's all for this page of my phone and then obviously if you swipe over I have my app library so I don't keep all of the apps on my phone, like on my main pages. I just have them in my app library because I think it looks nicer and it's much more neat and organized, if that makes sense. Oh, and then I forgot to mention at the bottom of my screen, I just have my phone app, text messages, and FaceTime. So that's all for this video and I hope you enjoyed. Maybe got some inspiration for your iPhone. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment this emoji also make sure to subscribe if you're not already so that way you don't miss out on future videos yeah that would also just help me out so so much if you have a video that you want me to film or just any video suggestions you can comment them down below but i think that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one